Hello beautiful crafty people, Michelle here and welcome to my makery. Um, today is the 30th of June, Tuesday. Um, I don't have a lot to show. I um, have a couple of projects that I've been working on, uh, crochet projects, and I have a couple of paper crafting projects. And I have a little haul because I went to Spotlight with my mum and brother on the weekend. So my first project I'm working on I wasn't going to finish it. I was going to rip it out because I wasn't happy with how it had turned out. Um, because I thought, I don't need a pattern. I can whip this up all by myself. And so I um, I thought, yeah. So it's um, like a bandana cowl thing. I know Crystal from Bag of Day Crochet has a pattern. And I, that's where I've seen it. And I just thought I'd wing it. And... Um, yeah, I think my wings have been clipped. I don't, I'm not sure. It doesn't look good on me. I don't suit anything up, yeah, see, around my neck. Um, but I'm just not happy with the neckline. Um, I started it, I did the granny part with a, um, must have been a, yeah, with a six millimeter hook and then I went down to a five for the um the ribbing because I wanted it a bit tighter but um I want it to fold over and I think somewhere in amongst the mix I should have done just a plain row or something to help it turn so now I'm not sure whether to keep going and do more rows so that it will just naturally roll over or to rip it back and follow a pattern. So that one's stuck in limbo. Um, this is done with a, um, a valuable sweet roll, which I got it on clearance from, um, I know I said I was going to do something else with this last time I think I said I was gonna make another virus meets granny but I decided on this um yeah I don't know maybe I will rip it out and make the virus meets granny that I originally intended to make but these were on clearance at spotlight last year I think I got these and then my next crochet project is with uh, Karen baby cakes that's it and I've only just recently started this project this morning this colorway is called Dreamy Rose and I'm just doing a corner to corner scarf. As you can see, I have only just started it. Um, yeah, that's the plan. I have three balls of this and I'm hoping to get a scarf and a hat and hopefully hopefully that will, that will look okay. Um, it's really soft. Oh, cat here. I have two cats and um, as it's winter here, they've got their winter coats and they're really fluffy now and they just fluff everywhere. Um, and because I just have this sitting out on my desk and not in a bag, it's picked up any little hair that was airborne. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, so that's my, um, I'm using a 5.5 hook my clover hook I love it I've only got a couple but even the ones that look very similar like this one I don't think is it's not a clover it's my six millimeter it's just you can just tell even when you put it in your hand that it's different yeah so those are my two crochet projects um, my paper crafting projects I probably can't show you. Hang on, let's see. No. But they, um, I will do another video on those for people who are interested. I know a lot of people who are interested in crochet aren't interested in my paper crafting, but some are. As I, um, I think that was the reason I lost some subscribers the other day anyway, um, was that I prattled on about paper crafting. But, so... The crocheters probably won't be interested in my haul from Spotlight as it is all paper crafting supplies. So um, I bought this pad. It is called Amethyst, I think. Yes, 
by Kaisercraft and it is beautiful it's purple one of my favorite colors I can't It has some beautiful um, treated pages, like, um, oh, this is one of my favourite. Wouldn't you just, well, I know I would. I'd love wallpaper like that, maybe in my bedroom. That would be gorgeous. Um, but, oh, I'm so awkward, I'm sorry. I'm really awkward. There we go. You can see. And... And it's the same. Those butterflies, some of them have, oh no, it's not that page. It's another butterfly page and some of them have like glossy, glossy accents almost on them. So they um, are raised and shiny. And so do those spots, I think. Oh, there's a couple of pages with that sort of stuff on it. That's beautiful too. that one's lovely that stripe has the glossy on the stripes whoops and then there's this one and that's the one with the um the treatment on it see how some of the, the butterflies and the flowers are kind of glossy and glowy you can see the light reflecting on them yeah that's really lovely so that was on sale but it wasn't a very good sale because it was one of the Dera pads, like half of their pads, the 30, um, you know, same size, 36 pages, Kaiser Craft, some of them are $35 and some of them are 20 something dollars. So when the special went on, I think I paid 27 for that, which is a lot. I normally wouldn't spend that much on a paper pad, but my son's girlfriend's birthday is coming up and he wants me to make her an album and purple's her favorite color so that's why i got that one um and then i bought this which is just a paper pack and it is the kaiser craft craft to gnome paper pack i've been in it already which is why everything's fluffy um it has 10 pages and then comes with some stickers and they're double-sided and um pages that you get are all on the cover there see all those covers they're pretty cool it's got like glue and paint and stuff on the on the cover actually i'm going to bring the bag bring the bag over here and then this was the bargain of the century big score i got these um eyelets um we are memory keepers eyelets and they were reduced to a dollar so, and I recently got a crocodile, so I got those ones, and I got those ones, and I got pink ones, because for a dollar, like, man, you don't get anything for a dollar. Did I show those ones already? Yeah, I got two of those. Purple, and I'll use them on the album that I'm going to make for Ruane. Another purple one, and then I got some just some blue shell buttons. Um, the button dangle they call them buttons, but they're not buttons because they're just not. Um, and then I got another, I got a 6x6 six six pad. The 6x6 six six pads were all on special for $7. They Kaiser Craft and they're normally like 15 So that was a really good price. Um, look pretty. This is the better way to show it. And what I do like about the Kaiser Craft ones is they do come with um, ephemera. So all those things on the back are all are actually on there, see? So that's good. So this one's called Paisley Days and I really like that one. And I got the Amethyst in the 6x6. 
basically just to get the ephemera that came with it and also to get smaller versions because they are smaller like it's not just a, a smaller piece they've actually like downscaled the pictures see the glossy on it isn't that cool so um and to get the ephemera because they didn't have any ephemera packs and i wanted some so yeah so that's the amethyst oh and then i picked up a roll of ribbon it's just black and silver that was reduced to a dollar um didn't have a lot of good stuff reduced i went to look at the yarn but the yarn was totally decimated there was hardly anything left they've had a sale on for quite a while i got some tiger grip helma yeah helma tiger grip glue i don't know what that's like but i needed a new glue to try so if anyone has used this i'd really you know appreciate um you letting me know if it's any good hopefully it is it was like ten dollars for the bottle um and then i got a 12 pack of double-sided tape now the bonus there is it's four different sizes comes in a three mil six mil 12 mil and an 18 mil tape and you get three of each so i thought that was brilliant so hopefully once again it's a it's paper craft double-sided tape i just i don't know if anyone's used it let me know thank you and i think that was it was $15 for the 12 rolls of tape, which I didn't think was too bad. Um, because, I mean, I pay $3 or $4 just for one single roll of tape most of the time. And then I bought a die. It's Kai's Craft Decorative Die. And it's an oval vintage frame. Because I don't have a lot of dies. I do have a big shot. So I want to use it a bit more. I don't have a lot of craft supplies. I'm slowly, as you can see, collecting them. And I have some that are... A lot of my craft supplies are as old as my daughter. And she's 22. So, because I started scrap... I scrapbooked when she was born. But then once I had her brothers, I just didn't have time. With four little ones running around. I mean, I know some people do, but I just didn't have time. Um... And now that they're older, I've got time. So, and then I bought these. They're reduced. They're just little bows. I mean, they actually look kind of crappy, but I got them mostly to get the idea from them. And they look like at some stage they've had um, a gem glued to the front, but they've fallen off. So I'm going to um, just put another gem on the front. But I'm also going to copy how they've done that to make some of my own to um, hang on charms and stuff so I might do that today actually have a fiddle around with my ribbons because this drawer here is full of ribbons and lace so it's like 22 years of collecting in that drawer um, because I used to sew when my daughter was little I made all her clothes as well they were funky I used to buy thrift shop clothes and cut them down and make hers out of it so the fabrics were all really cool vintage fabrics and stuff it was awesome um she was the trendiest kid no she she looked she was weird but i mean because i made her weird um with the clothes but i thought they were cool um so that's it that's my haul from spotlight um yeah can't wait to try that tape out and the dies i want to have a fiddle with those when i get my big shot out later probably and have a go but so i would really appreciate it if anybody who um has like made one of those cowls before um can give me any hints about what to do with the collar to help it curl down because at the moment it's like coming up and going like that but um and it's not that tight but it just kind of sits nicely around my neck and i've got a big neck so anyone with a smaller neck it won't um uh, it won't be as tight but um yeah any tips would be greatly appreciated and also no sign yet of my ice order but i'm not panicking because it has only been like five or six weeks excuse me um and I'm expecting 9 to 12 
to be honest or maybe even longer with the delays in shipping worldwide at the moment um so no panic I can't think of anything else that I need to share with everybody at the moment I will be doing a paper crafting video because I need to do a couple of video responses to some crafting challenges that I'm going to be entering if anybody is interested in that all right thank you for stopping by to visit with me today I've um, enjoyed our little chat if you have anything you would like to share with me please feel free to write it in the comments below or um, send me an email I'll put my email address in the description box I'd love to chat love meeting new people and um, love to share my crafting experiences take care stay well and be kind bye